So, I am currently working on the FASD project and I've made some commits including adding a comment as I was directed to do for this pull request that I have. In fact, there's the comment around here from Lucas and you can see that I've resolved it because I've gone and added it. But now I actually have a number of commits on this PI. I have four. The first really is the, the main one that I want in history. These two are to do with getting the end-to-end -end test to work by adding a bit of a grace period. And this is the code review comments. And each of them, as you can see, um, at least the top and bottom have their own verbose comments and their own titles. But really we want in Git history is that one. And you might be in the same position because you're contributing to OpenFAS or, or another open source project. So if we take a look at our Git log, we'll see that um, this is where I actually am right now, the head, and I've got my own branch, and that's level with the, the remote side. What I also have is those other commits, including the main one that I actually want. And then that's where we are in the master branch. So what I'm proposing in my PR is those four to be merged. I really only want this one. So a couple of things I could do. One is I could do a git reset to that ID. Then I could add the code in again and do a git commit and copy and paste the message in. But there's actually a mechanism called git rebase here and um, it takes a number, so we know that we've got four commits. And we do head, where we are now, backwards four commits. Typing this in, we then get to decide what we want to do with each of those commits. Now, I remember, or well, we remember that I said, this is the one I want the user support for containers. So I'm going to actually put squash or S in each of these, and you can see um, you can even reword them, so that's where <clears throat> it uses a commit but doesn't um, doesn't squash it down, fix up. There's a whole bunch of different things we can do. Let's squash them. And then what we get is one big combination of all of those messages, and it gives you the first, second, and so forth. So I actually just really want that. Now... Perhaps we might just have that end-to-end um, -end test change in there as well. Try um, add a grace period in the end-to-end -end tests. Okay. Optimize the code flow, code view comments, etc. That's not required, really, is it? Okay, and we've got how it was tested. Simply now then, I just allow that to go in. And if we look again in our history, we've got, that is the remote side. We're level with our, we're not actually level with remote. As you can see, that used to have origin next to it, that's gone. So now it's just a case of pushing. Now we can't push this to the remote side because it will, um, we'll just refuse because it's no longer matching the commits that we have and saying we need to force it. And by doing force, we will get that change up onto GitHub. And we can now see that's gone from four commits down to one. And it's kicked off CI again. If you do this in the middle of an, an existing CI run, you might actually cause the GitHub action or your CI to break. So you may need to re-trigger that. And then we can see all my changes here and the comment that I was asked to add in the review and a number of other things. So I hope that's been useful. That's a basic example of a Git rebase. Now, if I just wanted to edit where I am now, I just want one minor change or, you know, someone's asked for something else, I might come in here, just put image is the um, container image registry reference in an OCI format. What I can now do after saving is look at where we are. Right, I've got my change. I can add that and then I can do git commit and then amend. 
what that will do is it will change the commit SHA, but it will retain the message and all the other files that were staged here. And then I can come out of that, but I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to do a queue to quit. Oh, it actually worked anyway. Okay, so remember we had CF2D, C93. We do git log. You can see the commits changed, but the actual change is now part of that, and I could push it again with another force. And this is often what we do when we're asked to make lots of changes in a PR, um, is perhaps do them all, then rebase, and then if we're just on that last commit, we're no longer needing to rebase, we can just amend it um, and get that in a state where it can be merged. Thanks for watching.